Hi, I'm Sean Greenhow from Greenhow Pest Control. Thanks for joining us. Today I'm talking about clothes moths. Clothes moths are these tiny half inch golden moth, not to be confused with the meal moth that you often see in a kitchen. Now these adult moths, like these golden moths, come from this larval. You can see this larval stage moving here. This larval stage has been pulled away from his normal behavior, but this little cocoon, you can see that in my, my finger here, usually gets dragged along behind that clothes moth larvae. The clothes moth larvae goes through this fabric, and you can see all the casings that are in this fabric, and feeds on the fabric. Here you'll see frass, or sandy material, under my finger. That frass is the droppings from the larval stage that's feeding and causing this damage. Usually it's irregular, but it's somewhat continuous, meaning it goes in lines like that. And as I said, they're carrying these cocoons with them and then they'll pupate from those and you'll have adult moths emerge. The adult moths will then lay around 50 eggs on this carpet or on any food source and that female tastes the food source first. They prefer something dark, they prefer something that um, contains keratin. Now keratin is essential because keratin only occurs in wools and silks and natural fibers that come from animals. It doesn't occur in cottons or, or plant grown um, materials. To get your carpets clean, use a vacuum that has a beater brush. I flip this vacuum head over to show a beater brush, which is the brushing action that's mechanical that will work out the eggs in the larvae from a, a piece of uh, carpeting. This brush, you can note, does not have a beater brush. But your Roomba or your automated vacuum probably does have a beater brush, you can see in the bottom. Underneath this conference table or anything heavy like a piano or sofa, you want to move that occasionally and make sure that you get under the legs or under the area that's covered by the legs because that area that's going to be dark is a preferred feeding source for your clothes moths. Same idea in your closets. Go back to the deepest sweaters that you don't use or look at suits and dresses that are way in the back of the closet because you may only wear, like many people, the first few and cycle through that first set, but you have several that may not fit anymore way in the back. Take the time to take those out get them dry clean, cleaned and segregate them from the rest of your clothing if you're not going to wear them. So if there is an infestation, you can identify it and resolve it quickly. Resolving clothing moth issues is not about pesticides or insecticides. It's about sanitation. So that means dry cleaning your clothes and cleaning your carpets or anything in your home that contains animal fibers like wools and silks. Thanks for joining us today. Don't let anything bug you.